So Sonix is a minimally invasive ultrasound uh, guided carpal tunnel release. Uh, it is used to treat uh, median nerve neuropathy or what we commonly hear as carpal tunnel syndrome. So numbness, pain, uh, tingling, weakness caused by compression of the median nerve. So it's a, the nerve that runs uh, along the uh, inner side of the wrist through the carpal tunnel, it's like an actual tunnel, uh, and feeds usually these three uh, fingers. And the symptoms include what we just spoke about, numbness, tingling, pain, uh, in, that, in this distribution with uh, excessive use. Oftentimes uh, there'll be night pain if the patients, uh, if it gets moderate to severe, there may be even some functional deficits as, as far as weakness, and we definitely don't want the symptoms to, to progress to that level. The traditional therapy uh, or treatment for that has been, uh, obviously, in, if it's very mild or just showing up in the beginning, has been uh, conservative measures. So physical therapy, occupational therapy, night splints, different exercises and stretches, uh, you can do a cortisone injection into the, the carpal tunnel, hopefully image guided, uh, to give some relief. But usually uh, the cortisone injections have uh, short-term durability. If those uh, treatments are helpful and symptoms go away, then, then we're kind of done with it. So they can be treated conservatively. If they persist and the patient continues to have those symptoms or they are worsening, then the traditional path has been an actual open surgery. So surgically, the uh, orthopedic or hand surgeon will make a, an incision in the wrist and there's a uh, thick fascia or uh, ligament that covers the tunnel. It, it overlies uh, the bones in the wrist and underneath that the median nerve and tendons live in that tunnel. So you cut the roof of the tunnel and it opens it up. It gives uh, room for that nerve to breathe and so those symptoms diminish because the reason you have those symptoms uh, is a compressive neuropathy. So that nerve is being uh, compressed or compromised in that tight tunnel. So it's a simple procedure or surgery to cut it open. The downside with that is it is a surgery. Right? And so there is uh, a large skin incision. You have to make uh, you know, a cut of the, uh, the transverse ligament, and then you have to suture it back up. And there is a, a rehab from that. And that can be several weeks, even several months of recovery. The uh, Sonex procedure, does the same thing, but instead of having to cut the skin open to see that ligament, we use ultrasound imaging. And so instead of a long incision, there's a small puncture uh, wound, and we can show a picture of that, that heals within a couple of days. Uh, but the end result is the same thing, that we do have a release of the carpal tunnel. So a small device is placed under ultrasound guidance. It's uh, precisely placed. We look for any uh, pathologic or anatomic variants or pathologies that may preclude that from happening and uh, the device is placed, balloons open up and push the median nerve away and the ulnar artery and nerve away so there's a very safe zone of cutting. A micro knife is then uh, deployed so it comes up out of a sheath and then cuts the uh, ligament or transverse carpal ligament. So that's actually a complete release. That nerve is then, uh, or that uh, knife is then resheathed and hidden and then the device is taken out so everything is done in a very safe and closed fashion. Uh, the procedure takes about five minutes uh, we close up with a steri strip or uh, band-aid on the wrist and the patient uh, recovers over the next couple of days. We've seen recovery from the wound take uh, anywhere from two to three days to a week and recovery of symptoms sometimes uh, occurs uh, relatively immediately uh, to a few weeks if the disease process is more significant. Uh, compared to a surgical intervention, we're seeing recovery rates in the first week or two versus six to eight weeks uh, or potentially longer. The risks are much less with a simple uh, puncture instead of a surgical procedure. And we've actually done a couple of patients that have been on blood thinners and were not able to come off for uh, atrial fibrillation and other reasons. And we were still able to do the surgery or the Sonex procedure and uh, treat their carpal tunnel syndrome. So it's a really exciting therapy. Uh, and I think that based on uh, what we're uh, seeing as early results, that this will eventually become the standard of care for carpal tunnel syndrome.